Hi YouTube, I'm Taylor. Welcome to Ginger Next Door. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial um, for the look that I have on my face right now. Um, I have wanted to do a makeup look with blue mascara for the longest time. I saw this picture that I'm going to put in here somewhere of Cara Delevingne. You know who I'm talking about with the great eyebrows. Um, she had gorgeous blue mascara and just a little wash of color on her lips and I loved it and I thought it was great. So this is a super super simple look. Not very much went into it other than blue lashes. And then I tried out a couple of new products today, obviously, including the mascara. This is the BFF mascara from um, ColourPop. If you saw my recent ColourPop tutorial, you know probably already that I didn't love the black one, um, but the blue one is different. I don't have much else to say. Uh, I'll go over a couple of the new products at the end of the video and let you kind of know what I think, first impressions, um, and yeah. Um, I absolutely love this makeup look. I think it is so fresh and glowy and it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I've been wanting to do um, a look with blue mascara for a while now and I absolutely love the color of this one. Um, so I'm really excited. It reminds me of being like 15. Me and my cousin who are like, she's one of my best friends. Um, me and my cousin Christine, we used to wear blue mascara all the time. And it took me back to like ninth grade piling on blue mascara. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. My lips are feeling uh, real chapped, so first I'm going to put on some of this Mamond lip mask uh, so that they can be hydrating while I do the rest of my face. And then I'm going to take the Cover FX Blurring Primer and put this all over my face, obviously, to prime the face. When I do a more dewy kind of a look, it helps to fill in my pores and give my makeup a little bit better of a base. And then for a little bit of extra priming and some depuffing action under my under eyes, I'm using the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix. Uh, I absolutely love this stuff. I'm going to take this Pixi Color Corrector for my under eyes. This is in the shade Brightening Peach. And I'm just using this on a concealer brush to pack that underneath my eyes to hide any dark circles. And I'm being very, very generous with that. I'm also going to use a green color corrector on some of my red spots. Um, if you struggle with redness, a green color corrector helps to counteract those areas, so then you don't need as much coverage to help cover them up. first new product that I'm trying out today is this Milani Strobe Light um, Highlighter. This can be mixed in with your foundation or used just as a highlighter. Today I'm going to be using it to mix in with my foundation. This is the Milani Strobe Light in number 05 Summer Glow and I'm just going to mix these two together and put them on my face and blend them out using a damp sponge. Next I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and just conceal a little bit more in those areas I need some extra coverage. Next I'm going to take my Cover FX Setting Powder on my damp sponge just to set my under eyes. I don't want to set my whole face because I want to keep that really dewy finish, uh, but just to help to prevent my under eyes from creasing too, too much today, I'm going to set just my under eyes with the Cover FX Powder. I'm going to go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is my absolute favorite bronzer. Um, I'm going to just take this on a big fluffy brush and bronze my face, warm up everything up. Uh, on my cheeks and my forehead. I'm also going to take this on my neck a little bit because that uh, mixing medium kind of made my foundation a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. So I'm going to even things out by warming up the neck and my ears because sometimes my ears just look really white. I know that's weird, but it's a thing. The next thing that I'm going to be trying is this Burt's Bees blush in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. I've seen a ton of people talking about this here on YouTube and I thought that it looked so pretty so I decided to pick it up. As you'll see in a moment, I was not expecting it to be as pigmented as it actually is, but this color is really pretty. Um, this is a really pretty peachy brown shade and I absolutely love it. I'm also going to take that blush through my crease on a big fluffy brush. I don't want to put a lot of eyeshadow on because this look is mainly about the lashes, but I want to have a little bit of something there just to kind of brighten up that area and help with the contouring of my face. So I'm going to take some of this blush and just put that into the crease and blend it out. And then also smoke it along the lash line just a little bit, just so that everything feels cohesive. And then to highlight my face, I'm going to use the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. This is just a really nice soft pink highlighter. I absolutely love it.
And then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera as per usual. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. It's going to fill those in really quick. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to take this Thrive Cosmetics highlighter. I'm just taking this on the inner corners and on my brow bone to highlight the eyes a little bit, um, along with that blush that I put in the crease. And then I'm going to curl my lashes as I usually do. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the ColourPop BFF Mascara in the shade Blue You Mind. I absolutely love this color. I think it is so pretty and I'm so excited about it. For the lips, I'm taking the ColourPop lipstick in the shade Hello Stranger and just patting this on the lips. This is a super deep berry shade. Um, I didn't want to get a ton of color payoff from it, so I'm just patting it into the lips and using my fingers just to blend it out a little bit more. I just wanted that really soft wash of color, nothing too intense. And then to finish off the lips, I'm taking the MAC um, Clear Lip Glass. I'm just taking this on the center of my lip and just pressing that on with my finger to give a little bit of extra shine, but nothing too, too crazy. And then I almost forgot setting spray. I normally like to do this before I do my mascara, um, but I'm taking the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and setting my entire face. Okay, of the couple of new things that I tried today, uh, this I don't hate, but I feel like it's really, really, really glittery. I don't think you can tell in this light because it's just reflecting it and making everything look really shiny, but uh, uh, in life, there are little flecks of glitter all over my face. I don't uh, know anyone that wants actual glitter on their face. I don't hate it. It didn't hurt my foundation at all when I was mixing them together, but it's definitely not uh, going to be a go-to cha life changer for me. Um, and then the blush, this I absolutely love. This I'm so glad I was finally able to find because I think it's gorgeous. I had a moment of shock and confusion when I uh, dipped my brush in there generously and then realized that it's extremely pigmented. Um, but I like that color a lot. It's got a really nice like burnt orangey kind of undertone that's not too too much so I really enjoy that. And the BFF mascara in Blue You Mind I actually like a lot more than the black one. I tried applying the blue one differently than I did with the black one. First of all, this color is incredible. I absolutely love it. It's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Um, and I like the way that my lashes look. I felt like this formula wasn't as dry, so I almost wonder if maybe my black one was just dried out. Um, but I love the color of this. It, I didn't get any weird flecks on my face uh, when I was applying it, so I'm going to see how it wears throughout the day, but so far I actually, I really, really like this, and this may have changed my mind about this mascara. I'm going to try the black one again just to see. <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe my black one just happened to be dried out. I don't know. So yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and uh, I hope that you will subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you did and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be wearing this makeup look like crazy this spring and summer. I absolutely love this freaking color of mascara. <gasps> How exciting.